Hi, this is Chaos Boy 13 and this is my first tutorial ever. It's about how to make a sprite-based animation for use in Sony Vegas Pro 8. Hope you like it. The first thing you're gonna need is a sprite sheet which you can get by googling pretty much anything you want. I got most of mine from a certain website. I forgot the name. Sorry people. <laughs> anyway, Today I'm going to show you how to turn Luke Skywalker's lightsaber fury into an animated gif. As you can see, I already have four frames for this animation. Now what I want to do is add more frames to it. Now it says layer here, but they're actually frames. What a frame is, is an image that the uh, computer will cycle through as it's showing it. Okay, first thing you want to do is make a selection, which I've already done here. I want to copy this, Control C, over this image here, Control V. Next thing I want to do is line it up, sensibly at least so that the image doesn't jump around in the, in the animation process. Now you do not want to hit the anchor key just yet. First, you want to go to the layer in the GIMP menu, right click, and select new layer. That will put it on its own layer. Then you can edit it independently of everything else. Now, as you can see, that there are some gaps here. That's going to be inevitable. A quick way to fix that is to select the pencil tool. I've already got the green here. I would suggest green, personally. And come over here, add an extra green pixel here, and here. I know it may not show up at the moment, but trust me when I say it'll be worth it save you a major headache in the long run. Okay, now that I've isolated all the white spots with green, the next thing I'm going to do is go into the layer menu, select transparency, remove alpha channel. Okay, so those green spots weren't really necessary, but they'll be gone after the next step anyway. However, the green spots will save you a headache with the lightsaber. Let's go ahead and add another one here. Now the next thing I want to do is right click on the uh, layer itself, go to layer, layer to image size. What that does is it stretches the layer itself, what you pasted, to the size of the image itself. Then go in edit out the part you don't want. Go a little faster. Okay, that's good. Go back to one pixel pen size. So you don't want in the image like this perhaps. Might actually be easier to use a green pen over these. Because the green is not going to show up when you're done with it. Next thing you want to do is go into the bucket fill tool, make sure that, that same green is selected, fill the image. Check the image for any graphics, which there appear to be none, except possibly right here. And there you see we've created a new frame in the animation. Now you repeat that process Rectangle selection, select around the image you want, click on it, control C, control V. That should be close enough. And I'll spare you the boring rest of it. And I'll continue later on.